Welcome to Mr. Simon use YouTube channel. So today we are going to do, we are going to solve the very tough question on SPM 2017, question 6, which is the cylinder problem. Okay, so this question, when you see the question, it is very difficult. But as if you have attempted to do some of the, you know, you do, you sketch some equations on there, then maybe you can get one or two marks from there. Okay, so I'm going to give you the full solution to it. So first thing, okay, I think you, you guys have the questions. So first thing, you need to visualize the cylinder as fit in a partition plane. Okay, so the Q has a coordinate of somewhat of 2, 1. Okay, it's not... I mean, it is two spaces to the left and one spaces to the top. So you can see here is two, here it's one. Next thing, we need to know that the radius of a circle is same everywhere. Okay, throughout the circle, the radius will be the same. Okay, once we know this point, we can start working on it. Okay, so the main gist of this solving this problem is to, okay, is to use the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, as we know here, it's two spaces to the left, right? So we can, you see dot dot lines here. Okay, so here, R, you need to minus two. So this new parameter will be R minus two for the horizontal line. Okay, but for the vertical line, Okay, we need to cut here. So. After cutting it, okay, we can see that this one, the R, what will it become? R minus 1. Okay, it will become, so the vertical part will be R minus 1. Okay, and you see here's the 90 degrees here. Next, what will I do is I will transfer this image onto this here okay I drew it so this triangle here okay we have the new parameters okay I moved it here to a bigger picture okay so you can see now here it's very clear what you should do it's to apply the Pythagoras theorem is that easy okay so okay after applying the Pythagoras theorem you get r squared equals to r minus 1 squared r minus 2 squared after expanding, okay, you get r equals to 5, but r cannot be 1. Why? Because it is given that r here, the x parameter, it is more than 2. So we cannot put as 1. After that, we get 5, right? We get 5. Last step, what should we do here? Last step, we should give the conclusion of the whole thing okay so we can write this just give a simple conclusion okay uh, we don't calculate the volume it's too you know it's too problematic we just use a simple one we use the diameter so since we have the diameter r as 10 because 5 times 2 we get 10 5 is the radius 10 is the 10 is the diameter so as we get the time diameter of 10, it is clearly it is more than the 7 cn of the given box. So we can conclude that the diameter of cylinder is greater than the box, thus the cylinder can not fit into the box. Okay? So how does the examiner give marks? Okay? First thing, I think it allocate like 6 marks, right? 6 marks, okay? Your conclusion here, you answer yes or no, you will get one mark, okay? Then, you give your conclusion greater than, okay, another mark here, okay? So, these are for the students who really can't answer, okay? You write something, maybe if the KPM is linear, okay, they will give, even you write 21 times 7 times 7, you get the, un, the one or two marks, okay? So, not, and this diameter, conclusion, okay? And here, you will get... Here, by expanding this one, here you get one mark, here you get another mark, and here you can get one mark, okay? So, all this you can 
can simply pick off some marks here. Okay, maybe this diameter or this part here will get one more mark. Okay, so the diameter here, you calculate it, will get one more mark. So the total will be six marks here. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so this is the answer that you have waiting for. Okay, so good luck. Thank you.